What's going on, y'all? Thanks for checking in the Cali's Take. You know what to do. Hit that like, subscribe button. Also hit that notification bell just so you can get the newest and the bonus content first. But hey, let's just go ahead and jump right in. You know, if you look on ClipsNation.com, you can see there is some hope or should I say there is um, a possibility that the Clippers could be taking another Toronto Raptors player and putting them on their roster. Now, of course, we know they took, you know, they got most of the Toronto Raptor players or the, the one of or some of the most important ones, you know, Kawhi, you know, Serge Ibaka, Norman Powell, you know, was on the Clippers. And, you know, I'd say only they need now is to find a way to get Pascal Siakam and Freddie Van Vliet. You know what I'm saying? They'll be the Toronto Raptors 2.0. You know, they don't have, you know, Serge Ibaka anymore, but Serge Ibaka isn't as good as he was a few years ago. Um, I would like to see them add somebody like Marcus Gasol to their list. Um, Marcus Gasol was definitely, you know, um, one of those players that I think they can bring a high basketball IQ to any team. And I thought the Clippers would be a good uh, destination for him. But I guess, you know, that just didn't work out um, like I thought it might would have at the time. But that's OK. You know, the Clippers are very strong and they're very, you know, um, built, ready, built to win a championship. And there's no doubt about that. Um, but, you know, th th you look at the reports on the, you know, ClipsNation.com. You can see about Pascal Siakam and um, he's coming up with an extension, you know, uh, or resign an extension you know with the um toronto raptors but i personally think i don't know i don't know if you know pascal is as uh, excited about you know re-signing with the raptors because there's really no hope for the team i mean they're not going anywhere anytime soon fred van vliet is still good he's still pretty good um they you know couple years removed from a championship after Kawhi left and a few other guys left there and you know Nick Nurse is still a good head coach but I mean you can only do but so much without a superstar and Pascal Siakam is just not a pass the torch you know superstar type guy you can't pass him the torch and he just picks it up and take it from there and keep going it's just not his game you see what I'm saying um you know a lot of people wanted to be but it's not you know and that's okay you know because you got to um you know, you got to play your role and play it to perfection. And I feel like his best fit role is going to be the second or third best player on a team, on a championship team. Now, on a ch no, I should I should say on a championship team might be the third best player, depending on who's on the roster. So, you know, um, I think uh, if they did add him to the Clippers, I think he would be a good additional piece. But I don't think that Pascal Siakam will be added to the Clippers like this year, of course. I think it would be more or less going into the following uh, offseason. You see what I'm saying? Not this uh, offseason here, but after next year, after next year is over going into that offseason, I think they have a chance to get Pascal Siakam. But at the same time, they would have to probably give up some pieces that I really wouldn't uh, want the Clippers or, or if I were the Clippers, I wouldn't want want to give up because I know they have to give up like somebody like Terrence Mann and Luke Kennard one of those type pieces along with maybe another a pick or maybe one other piece added like an Amir Coffee or somebody like that so I mean it's going to be one of those tricky type situations if they do get somebody like Siakam what Siakam is good young athletic you know um you know definitely go at people you know he will you know, play some defense. You know, we saw him uh, that year, you know, with Kawhi Leonard in uh, 2019 when they won the championship. We saw Pascal Siakam, you know, play his tail off. He played really good and he played like, you know, uh, a young star player, a young rising star player should. And, um, you know, I like Pascal Siakam's game. I really do. I don't know how it really fits with the Clippers really well, um, except him bringing a little bit more size to them. You know, as far as like uh, versatility, he can be a two-way player. I will give him that. But, you know, the Clippers got a lot of those <laughs> seem like two-way players. And um, I'm not saying he will hurt the Clippers at all because I definitely like his game in regards to, you know, his athleticism, the way he moves his feet on the court, you know, on both ends of the floor. And like I said, he'll cut to the basket. You know, give you some, you know, easy to give you, you know, give you some easy baskets, you know, slash into the, the basket doing backdoor, you know, doing with backdoor cuts and things like that. He's definitely good at those type of things, little intangibles. He can get you extra rebounds. You know, I do like his game, you know, for that, you know, specific, you know, purpose. I just don't know how much value he would bring to the Clippers because I feel like they already have players that can do what he does. You know, for one, Robert Covington can do, you know, what Siakam can do. He might can't score the basketball 
ball as good as Siakam, but he can definitely play defense better and he can, you know, get some extra rebounds himself. And he's definitely not a stranger on defense because Robert Covington is one of, I, I think he's a top, you know, 10, top 15 defender in the league. You know, when Robert Covington is really, you know, playing at, at his best, you know what I'm saying? Defense is one of his staples. So, you know, I feel like they kind of got a player in Robert Covington, you know, somewhat with the same attributes, somewhat as Pascal Siakam, maybe not just as talented, but, you know, a lot of the, you know, there's a lot of similarities between their game to me. So, um, like I said, I don't know how well he would fit with the Clippers, but pending on what the Clippers need or pending on after next season, you know, who they don't keep, you know, and all those type of things due to contract situations and all that, you know, Pascal Siakam definitely might fit right in. You see what I'm saying? And um, I definitely think if they're able to get somebody like him, you know, I mean, I definitely think they will go after that because, you know, Kawhi Leonard would definitely approve of that because he won a championship with this guy and he know how this guy plays and he knows this guy will go out there and give his all every single night he's on the floor. So, you know, um, that's a plus for the, the Clippers if they decide to go after uh, Siakam. I mean, me personally, if they're going to go after him, I would go ahead and get uh, Fred Van Vliet, too, if you could. I mean, he's definitely somebody I think, you know, is, is very, very capable of doing a lot of good things as he did that year. I mean, he definitely was a big reason why they won that finals. I mean, he played defense on Stephen Curry like I haven't seen nobody play defense on him for a couple of games in the NBA finals. And he knocked down some of the biggest shots I think I've ever seen a player knock down in the NBA finals as well. And he was coming off the bench so i mean to me you know if you have a six man like fred van vliet on your your team you you definitely do a lot of good things because he can step off the bench and drop 20 plus points every game if he choose to because he's just that good you know so um like i said if they're gonna get siakam or if they're thinking about siakam i definitely would think about van vliet as well you know because um like I said, if, if they can pry both of them from the Raptors, then, well, I mean, like I said, the Clippers would have another chance to, you know, to or more chances to reach the uh, championship because now you're bringing championship DNA to the Clippers along with the best player in Kawhi Leonard, who ran the show in Toronto, who's running the show in, on, in the Clippers in L.A. And you put all that together with what they already have their juggernaut team so my thing is see what happens you know um this off season and see what you can get you know if it, if it doesn't take too much to get them or see how come or whoever they plan on acquiring um definitely go after it if it doesn't take too much to get them but um we'll see how it all pans out see how it all goes and uh we'll see if it pans out in the clippers fashion see if they can actually you know acquire a player like siakam that would definitely you know um i definitely like i said i definitely don't think it would hurt the clippers at all you know with what they have and their nucleus and everything so let's just see uh what happens right now it's just all talk but i mean it could become reality but let's see how it all pans out for the clippers and um see how it benefits them going forward if they're able to make this deal but hey that's my take on everything leave any comments in the conversation check out my other videos if you haven't and hey cali out